Well, hello, my name is Ellie, and this morning we are cooking a turkey for Christmas. This is a little bit like a dream come true. It's almost like my own cooking show. But what we're actually doing is we're preparing this amazing turkey from the countdown. And you could get your hands on one of these by signing up to Genesis Energy this week, before Friday. They're giving you a turkey, an $80 countdown voucher to go and get your own turkey. So what we thought we would do is show you how it's done. So we've got our uh, stuffing and our garnishes that are all ready to go. We've got the recipe from the countdown site. It's available on our website now as well, obaby.co.nz. And we've also got tips from you via Facebook page on how to make the most of your amazing turkey. Okay, we have washed our turkey and we have dried it with paper towel. We're now going to combine these gorgeous stuffing ingredients. We've got a baguette all wrapped up. We've got some pistachios. We've got orange zest. We've got some onion and bacon and garlic here. And we've got some apricots soaked in sherry. Now someone's tip, Emily from Facebook said, use a high quality roasting dish so it doesn't burn on the bottom and dry out. Among our most popular tips, what apart from get your mother-in-law to do it, was uh, to rub butter underneath the skin. Andrea Callender gave us this tip, as did many others. Andrea said it, it stops it from drying out, and I imagine it gives it an amazing flavor. So we're just gonna get our spoon under here, under the skin. I've seen Jamie Oliver do it this way, so hopefully that's right, but just to loosen it off there, and then, you are able to put knobs of butter directly under the skin. Okay, now our next job is to tie this up. And I've never done this before, so we'll see how we go. Um, I guess you could stitch that as well if you were really clever. Um, Taryn Davis had a great tip of putting bacon over the top of it. That apparently stops it drying out. So you could try that. Okay, here and the recipe tells us to just drizzle over some olive oil and pour in a cup of water into the roasting dish and we're ready to go. So our oven's been preheated to 180 degrees and that's it. We're going to cook it as per packet instructions about three hours, basting it with juices every 30 minutes. So we'll see how it goes. Right, so we're just doing our basting. We're doing this every 30 minutes. To be honest, it's really tricky without that turkey baster thing that we don't have. But if we had one of those, that would make it easier. We're just pouring the juices from the dish over our turkey. Another tip we got from the Countdown website actually was to cover the drumsticks and these wing tips when they start to dry out a little bit with some tin foil before you pop it back in the oven. Here we go, three hours later. And it's looking pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. So we had a tip from Ashley Hickey to leave it to rest for 30 minutes. But uh, we haven't had lunch, so I'm not sure if we can actually wait that long, but there you have it. And it was pretty easy. So sign up for Genesis Energy this week before Friday the 12th of December, and you can have your very own turkey. They're giving away $80 countdown vouchers, so you can grab one of these turkeys for your Christmas.